Hi, this is Scott, and I'm uh, broadcasting to you from uh, sunny, snowy Rochester, New York here on uh, January 25th. Um, I, uh, we are looking at right now a uh, blood spot. Uh, this is a blood spot on my daughter's carpet, um, actually from my, uh, my dog who uh, had an ulcerated uh, tumor in her mouth, which I also have video of uh, uh, on YouTube here. But uh, this is uh, a spot that we have uh, literally put every uh, rug cleaner known to mankind on here, and it just uh, just not lift the uh, the blood spot out. This was a fairly large blood spot. It was a, a fair amount of blood out here. Uh, this has been set in the rug probably since um, June of 2012, and we're in January now. So it's been it's been a number of months, and we've had a number of different products on it. So, but uh, I'm going to be testing my new uh, uh, biodiesel based uh, cleaner product that I've tested for on uh, a number of other applications including uh, uh, grease removal, uh, paint removal off of uh, uh, off of glass, a uh, whole variety of applications uh, also have run it in my uh, in my diesel truck as a uh, anti-gel, anti, or uh, anti-gel gelling formula uh, for also removing and also a, a fuel cleaner. So uh, we're going to try this and test color fastness of the rug, which itself is pink, uh, and the blood spot obviously is uh, you know kind of that dark red brown into the pink. And uh, we're just going to spray it on. And uh, let's see, get it pumped up here. And just see if the uh, the material causes the stain to dissipate a bit. I, I did a uh, another video which I haven't posted my Berber rug downstairs on a, uh, um, a soil spot from our bunny but who was about three years old. Again nothing could lift it out. It was a combination of uh, of urine and uh, kind of wet bunny poop and uh, it wasn't, uh, wasn't a real pretty thing but it came right out. I actually kind of watched it dissolve on the video but Blood is a real good test, and uh, so what I'm doing, just spraying on a little bit here, just kind of saturate the rug. There's nothing else on it right now, and let's just see if we can see some breaking up of the stain, which it almost kind of looks like right now. Um, looks like I'm starting to see some some pinker area right in here. Looks like the blood is starting to kind of break up off the fibers. I don't know if we can see that. This is a natural light. I don't have any other additional light here. Just uh, we have a, a fairly decent level of light coming in through the window right now. So just wanted to see how this looks in regular light. And then what we're going to do uh, after this sets in for about a minute or so is I just have a, uh, a bowl of water. Okay. And uh, we're going to do a little mechanical abrasion with the um, with the brush after it sets in a little bit and we'll see if we can break that up. The material itself is uh, is water miscible so uh, uh, the water will create additional uh, 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 breaking up effect of the whatever the stain is in the uh, in the carpet uh, you know the, with the blood stain any type of stain um, the, we'll uh, use the water to help break it up, but we're just going to we're just soaking it down right now with the biodiesel-based material formula. Let's spray just a little bit more in there. It looks like we got a little bit of, uh, you know, I'm seeing a little bit of dissipation of the stain. I don't know how it's coming out on video, but uh, it looks to be the stain appears to be uh, breaking up and dissipating into the uh, into the fibers of the uh, of the carpet deeper down in. So this is hopeful. We'll give it a minute, and then we'll hit it with some uh, mechanical abrasion with the brush and a little bit of water. As you can see, the brush the brush doesn't really hold a lot of water. So I dump it in. Just a little bit, enough to get it into the stain. All right, 
Okay, now let's try the abrasion test with a brush in the water. This is kind of a heavier area right here with the uh, with the blood spots. Well, it does appear to be. Uh, <laughs> I think this might be the this might be the stuff here. As you can see, the area is wet, and of course we have uh, the dark the dark blood stain with the material in there, but I think you can see already that even the clumping of the blood in this area, which was pretty heavy into the fibers, is already breaking up. It's really, as I said, it's not really a factor of much water. Abrasion is, you know, it's not a real heavy brush or anything, but we want to uh, want to get a little bit of a mixing effect with the, uh, the biodiesel based um, formula that I've developed and it cleans a whole variety of things. Very very good general cleaner apparently and it looks like it's going to work pretty good on blood too. It doesn't appear to be affecting the color fastness of the carpet. You can document that further after it dries out to see how the spot looks but as you can see we're getting we're getting uh, good dissipation of the uh, of the blood stain from the carpet and nothing's touched this I mean this is this has been the stain of the century here and I thought I would uh, Wait till I blended a new batch of my biodiesel based cleaner to test it out on this blood stain. See how it works. When it appears, you work it quite well. Nice. You can already see the carpet right in here where this was this was just dead solid Brown, dark brown red blood stain bound with the carpet has uh, successfully been lifted with my formula and a little bit of a little bit of water and elbow grease. amazing <clears throat> now, there's still a little bit of an area out here I don't know if you can it's, I don't think it's in folk in the uh, uh, view of the uh, camera but we can uh, use that as a comparison spot for this area right here which is where the blood stain was and I want to look for any bleaching effect or non-color fast characteristics but it appears that it's not bleaching the carpet whatsoever which I didn't expect it would and it looks like we're starting to see some of the original uh, color of the carpet coming back here <clears throat> we'll let that sit for a minute and uh, uh, see what happens further but that's a pretty that's a pretty amazing testimony to the uh, power of this material all right well thanks for watching and uh, we'll come back and take a look at the stain later on in a separate video